Well, for those of you with New Year resolutions to get fit, listen up. You could call it full body fitness. An Orange County doctor has opened a primary care medical office inside a CrossFit gym, an alternative to traditional health care as we know it. Joining me now to talk about his unique new concept is Dr. Adam Schulte, who runs this drop in doc alongside Resolution CrossFit in Yorba Linda. Also coach Matt with him. Hi. Hi, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Yeah, good morning. Happy New Year, you guys. Yeah, I mean, this is very timely because we all need to get healthier, I think, in the new year. That's one of my resolutions. Um, so how did you come up with this idea to open a doctor's office inside of a gym? Boy, um, I've told this story so many times that hopefully I got it down to a shorter version now. Um, I had a coach back in Ohio who had a bad interaction with a doctor who didn't realize that he was the owner or one of the head coaches from the gym. And he was telling me about this experience where he was basically told, that it's bad for you and that it's going to hurt your joints and how many bad things that he sees. And uh, just hearing about his experience, I just I, I reached out to the guy and I just said, well, guy, I wish I was your doc. I wouldn't tell you just to stop everything or telling you that moving is dangerous. Is Wouldn't you rather have a doctor who not only does what you do, but does it side by side with you and can communicate in the same common tongue as you and be able to have that as a direct reference that you can send clients to and not have to worry about losing those opportunities with those clients that maybe you have had so much tremendous success like we typically see for the average member. And then suddenly because a doctor comes in and says, oh, no, it's bad for you. Well, his his opinion trumps all um, this one particular doctor. He'd never set foot in one of our affiliate gyms before. And I think that's what upset my coach so much. And so it made sense then to like, well, just open a clinic and a gym. All right, so then what makes these gym members just the ideal patient base? And can people who don't work out there also get treatment from you? 100% absolutely. And I think that's probably the most common misconception that I've, I found myself uh, restating over and over is you don't have to be a member of the clinic and be a member of gym simultaneously. But it does offer that foot in the door, that door that's literally right over my shoulder, is I can walk down that hallway after having an initial exam with a patient and say, have you ever wondered what it looks like? Have you ever wanted to try it or see what it's like? And walk them down just 10 feet down that hallway, let them see an actual class going on, introduce them to the coaches so that it's not the same sort of uh, uh, misconception like the doctor had previously. I'd love to have that doctor come in and run him through that, that typical course and to say, hey, this is what actually goes on. Whatever you've seen on TV, whatever you see on social media, that's not representative of what we do on a daily basis. And it's a built-in accountability network. That's what makes the affiliate program so wonderful is that there's gonna be somebody there, and especially too, as far as timeliness with resolutions go, is that you're, you're part of a fitness community. You're not just one-on-one. -on -one. It's not just self-directed where, well, maybe I'll go to the gym today, maybe I won't, and then it's based on your motivation. There are others that are gonna motivate you to do it, and you look forward to seeing these people on a daily basis. It becomes part of your daily routine, and that's why this is so instrumentally important, is that currently right now, we have millions of people across the world that are doing this without the guidance of a physician. So imagine what if we did. And, and like Coach Matt, uh, I mean, there at the CrossFit, you, Matt, you're kind of like the medical assistant, uh, the eyes and ears. Yeah, it's it's nice to be able to, you know, you come into a situation, be able to bounce some ideas off someone who's on a like-minded page but comes from a different perspective. And, and we can now wrap it up and we can, as one collective group from the active side to the medical side, we can come up with ideas and game plans to help people that might be in a particular situation or an interesting situation or something outside the norm. We can definitely sit together and, and come up with some good solutions. Um, so, Adam, does insurance cover this or how are patients and gym members paying for this? Great question, I'm glad you brought it up. So the most important things to talk about what this clinic is by probably saying what it isn't, is that we are not insurance. We are definitely not concierge medicine. Those are two very different uh, practice models. This is what's called direct primary care. Uh, it is a low cost monthly membership and it's been likened to um, like Netflix. So you can come in once a year, you can come in 30 days out of the month, but it's the same flat membership fee. There's no hidden costs, there's no hidden fees. It's transparent pricing, which within healthcare, we've been hearing about that a lot, especially with the executive order about the transparent pricing with hospital systems. Um, but where we see healthcare get really expensive and why it is, quotes, broken, it, it has very little to do with insurance. Insurance definitely complicates it. It's about two major factors. This is really what it will come down to to fix healthcare. Access to physicians, and giving physicians the time to do their job. Um, I'm currently working in an urgent care facility that typically sees 90 to 100 patients a day. And you just can't see that many patients and deliver quality of care when it's literally just, and I hate to sound so so cynical, but in hospital systems, I've heard it referred to as move the meat. 
Um, when it's that dehumanizing, when when medicine, which is intended to be a service industry, is instead being operated like a business, that's why we've seen the steady decline of healthcare. And so within a direct primary care model, it gives patients access to their doctor. You can see me on the same day or the next day more often than not. Um, you also have 24 seven access to me. So if there's an urgent issue like after hours or an emergency in the middle of the night and you don't know whether to go to the emergency room or not, um, you have through a, a, a private portal uh, app on your phone called Spruce that you can text message me or call me or even FaceTime me wow. in the middle of the night. And that's what makes this so valuable. And it's because we keep our numbers very low. So the typical primary care physician, it's about two to 3,000 patients they're responsible for. Here we cap our numbers at about 700 to 800. Wow, yeah, this is definitely groundbreaking. Uh, Coach Matt, thank you for the time. Dr. Adam Schulte, thanks again. Again, running this drop-in doc alongside Resolution CrossFit in your Belinda. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to check, check it out myself. And I just want to mention real quick, you guys do imaging, labs, uh, regenerative medicine, so so much more. I wish you the best of luck and keep us posted. Hey, thank you so much. You just really much. quick, if you do, or if you are in the Southern California area and you're interested to sign up, it's just www.thedropindoc.com. If you want to join, you just click on the join tab and that will take you through the registration page. Cool. Easy. All right. Thanks, guys. You thank bet. You. Thank you so much.